What is the crack lads? It is the Midnight Kid here. V1.0 is out in the wild. We're going to go into Dream Team and just give a quick introduction in this video. Um, pretty much give an introduction of it. So you pick your team that you want to base your kits on. And then you name your team. You have your team shorthand for when you're, on, when you're actually in game. And then you have your Dream Team created. You get your login bonus. So I'm going to go through this quite quick. But just to give people an introduction into the mode. To show you real quickly what is awaiting you in Dream Team. You go in. There's your, there's your weekly login bonus. And your weekly rewards that you're going to be getting as well. Um, so you've got GP. You've got coins. You've got all that good stuff that are added to your inbox. So you just press start. Once all these messages go. You press start. You go in and you redeem all your rewards in the inbox. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to have a lot of videos on Dream Team. I'm very hyped for this. We're going to show you a couple of the features that are new in it and how to kind of navigate stuff. So as you can see there, there are all the, the GP and all the bonuses that you get. Now, if you have played PES 2022 season update or PES 2021 season update, I should say, um, and you've played a lot of the eFootball 0.9 uh, beta or demo that has been out for the last couple of weeks and months, uh, you will have a lot more stuff in here. This is my second profile. So this is the sort of stuff that is added that's new. Now, there is going to be new campaigns and a league division system starting next Thursday. But for now, this is the sort of stuff that you will be looking to get and be able to get with your eFootball points. So you can see there are 5,000 eFootball points. So there's three currencies. There's your coins, your eFootball points, and then, your, then there is your GP. Uh, and this, these are all the items that you can get as well. So contract renewals, training programs, experience points for boosting up players and training players. We'll have a look at that as well towards the end of the video. But there seems to be a lot of freedom here. There seems to be a lot more options of how to build a team, you know, being able to buy young players and train them up compared to like with my club, which was pretty much a lottery of who you signed unless you, you know, rinsed agents and stuff. So this gives a lot, a lot of... Um, variety and a lot of options you can see here these are the defaults i don't think that they're going to stay too too long in your club to be fair uh, especially if you've got a bit of gp lying around you're going to probably want to upgrade in in pretty much every position uh, that you possibly can but i would probably start if you are starting and you haven't played much of v0.9 i will be having a bit of a tips and tutorial of how to kind of start you know getting your getting your best chance of of being able to not dominate at the start because you will need obviously to to put a bit of time into your into your dream team club uh but just being able to kind of start like maybe by getting a proper center back upgrading an attack in midfield maybe a goalkeeper and training him up a bit um but i like this i mean straight away i was gravitating towards pedri who's probably one of my my most exciting players to play with in eFootball. You can see there that these are all the players that you can sign with the standard player list for GP. So there is no coins in this. There is no microtransactions. This is going to be every player that you can sign for GP. They're going to start at level one. So for example, Mbappe is going to be 87 overall. When he gets up to his level 22, he's going to be, you know, to hit the same rating as he is by default in the, in the full game, like in the offline modes and stuff. Neymar the same, Neymar will go from 85 up to like 92 or whatever he is when he's leveled up and trained up. So you've also got your filters that you're able to like look for specific players. So straight away I was going to look at Atlanta who I think are, they've got some lovely young players. Obviously some of them don't have their faces yet that will come in a future update. Um, but yeah, I mean Dream Team seems to be more about now creating your exact, your exact club. And the thing about it is, is that you could buy a player for GP and then you can like play with him for a couple of games. He's not he's not doing uh he's not doing it for you up front, or he's you know letting in a couple of goals at the back. You can release him. You can buy somebody else for a GP, and then you can always choose to top up optionally your team with uh, with coins and stuff. But I love that the grind is back. I mean, in MLO, that was my favorite thing to do was to grind for a center back or a, a, you know a center midfielder that would make a big difference. And it's it's just nice to have that option, man. I mean, it's nice to have the option of just being able to sit down. And no, right, if I play 10 matches and I give up my evening here to play it, I'm not going to be down coins or I'm not going to be like wasting my time playing it. So uh, that was kind of with my club. There, there was no real incentive to play apart from just wanting to beat people. Whereas in this, you could actually build different squads throughout the year. So, for example, we're going to sign Pedri here. And as you can see there, that Pedri is... Uh, is going to be one of the one of the better players in the game. I think he's probably the top young player to buy in the game, and he would be my number one pick. 
I think, as of right now. Maybe you could go for a bit of speed on the wings as well, but I think just being able to control everything through the middle of the park, I think Pedri is your man. And uh, you can see here that he's got a lot of, G you know, compared to some of the other guys, he's like nearly 100,000 GP compared to some guys that are in his his kind of vicinity or in, in, in the same ballpark as him stat-wise and stuff. But I just think his player ID, I think everything about this guy, his movement, his dribbling is going to be insane. Um, and you can see the new animation there as well for opening up. So yeah, uh, it's going to be very interesting. And again, the other thing, like we had training and player progression and everything the last season in my club, but it was a little bit muddled and you had to kind of like, you know, you had to kind of like trade players in or, you know, you know, like put like 10 players towards one player or something like that, or release players you didn't want to, to go through it. Whereas in this, it seems to be that like you can um, have a lot more options of how you want to train your players. And not only that, the managers have changed a lot as well. And I'm going to do an extra video on this as well. Um, I know that Sep is going to be streaming later. I know that there's a lot of people streaming at the moment that will probably be going over this stuff in, you know, a 30 minute, 40 minute detail. Um, but basically all you need to know is you can see the rank in there of Pedri, right? So I have Pedri as an AMF. And you can, you can pretty much like free roam him or free like move him anywhere you want. It does, you're not locked to a specific formation or a specific tactic with each manager. So I can put Pedri up, you know, SS. I can put him center midfield. I could put this guy back kind of as a wing back and this guy up as a, a right wing forward. I can move him to the central and put Pedri in an attacking role in the hole. Um, there's a lot of options. You know, you can put your defenders back. Um, also three center backs needs to, seems to be gone and four center backs option seems to be gone. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of change. I think that since they've concentrated on dream team, they really put a lot of thought into if these guys were sitting down and playing it themselves, what would they like? And I think that that's been something that has needed a lot of work over the last couple of years. This is the level training that I was talking about. Um, as you can see there, I've only got one. 4,000 XP level training. So that's going to bring him up to level 11 and Pedri is going to get his successful training. Now, you might have noticed that his rating hasn't changed. Nothing has changed here. So this is the second step that you need to do. So you pump him up with XP and then you customize where you want them, that XP to go in his stats and stuff. So again, this is huge because I could be coming up against somebody like Weza or something or Ricky or True Brits or whoever, Spoonie, whoever, and I could be coming up against him who has like a really, really, really fast Pedri, whereas my guy could be focused on dribbling and could be focused on passing, um, you know, are really strong. Or you could be coming up against somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo, where somebody pumps him full of, like, speed and shooting, whereas I might have him as, like, you know, heading and more kind of central defensive that he's kind of getting back. And it, it just gives a load of, like, opportunity to do cool videos and do cool content. You've also got the choice of um, changing their play style as well. So... You develop him up, there his, his stats will go up here, you'll see, and then his his uh, his overall will change, his stats will change, um, and that can be rinsed and repeated. Once you pump in the player and you train him up, it can't be undone. You'd have to like release him and sign him again and then re retrain him. So it kind of reminds me of Pokemon. It's kind of like giving Pokemon, you know, the 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 permanent moves and stuff. You could you could train them like permanently, or you could train them that you could switch them the whole time. Um it does add a little bit of a little bit of variety to it. You know, you could be coming up against somebody that's like notoriously a good dribbler, but you might have Neymar like really strong and good in the air. So it does add, and it's also it's also capped. I mean, you're not going to have Neymar 99 heading. It's capped. There is, you know, soft caps on the, the rankings and the stats themselves. But that's it, lads. I mean, Roy Steen is ready to rock and roll with Big Lads FC. You go into kickoff then and that's it. You're matchmaking. But yeah, let me know in the in the comments below, lads, what you think of these early these early impressions of eFootball 2022 Dream Team. Big updates coming next week, 21st of April. So yeah, let us know in the comments below. And let me know as well if you guys would like me to live stream or do a video series on YouTube. Either live stream on Twitch or do a video series on YouTube of, you know, the road using my proper squad. Everything will be there, all my legends and stuff you know, all open and all them guys, let me know what you would prefer. Maybe stick it up on YouTube um, or Twitch or whatever you guys like want. So let me know. And yeah, until next time, lads, peace.